use today's charcoal. It's an amazing material, very simple, made from a willow tree, branches burnt very slowly over time. Uh, really nice to use. A bit messy, if you don't like your messy, it might be a challenge, but it's, it is nice. I'm going to draw a nice simple tree. So what we're going to do is just kind of create the roots down here with a few lines. And I think with charcoal, less is more. It's definitely one of those things that you can get away with doing not that much and it actually look really effective. So it's going to be kind of a spooky sort of tree. So I've done my little branches down. My, even the roots look quite good, just, just a few lines, just very simple. Let's just come up here and let's have a branch kind of coming off down here. And my little rule with trees is if you can split your branches into sort of threes, like forks of threes. So they don't have to look like three perfect things, but you're sort of splitting them into threes and then you can sub-split into more than three. So I'm just kind of coming up here out of the branches and let's make this one into a three. So it's quite a, neat, a good little technique for creating something that looks like a realistic tree. So threes. And trees are never like perfectly groomed or anything unless they're, you know, in some sort of <laughs> magazine or something. But look at trees, they're never kind of quite quite uh, as neat as you think they are. So just, you know, try and look at them for the lumps and bumps and the funny shaped branches and so threes again I think what charcoal's a very honest material you know it's quite sort of uh, it's it's just nice it just is what it is it's not nothing um, dressed up and fancy it's just a great material to use to just sketch and um, you know draw things quickly it's uh, got a sort of honesty to it. It's very uh, sort of easy to create marks. It's also very easy to smudge it, so just be careful if you don't want to do that. Um, I will show you a bit of smudging in a minute. So we've just got some little trees coming up here. And branches, let's split them down into bits. So the, the thing is you're going to have lots and lots of branches, so this is the key really, is trying to split everything into lots of shapes like that. And we're starting to get a good tree shape here, I'm just going to take a bit more up here. As I say, you can use it in different ways, you can use it on the end and you can also use it on the side, so if you want to fill anything in, this is quite nice, where you can just use it, get a sort of slightly softer shape to it but it's a little bit softer a little bit nice nice smudgy marks to it maybe i could use a little bit of it down here on the, on the ground to create and it does take sometimes take a little bit of wearing down to get it to do what you want but you just can create these nice sort of patches of of shades so it's a really simple material i'll say very honest material very smudgy material you can also smudge it with your fingers um, just have a bit of paper towel or something close by because you end up getting it on your fingers and then it gets on your face and <laughs> ends up going everywhere so just uh, but I, I like the layering that you can get from charcoal that you can just keep building it up you know and it doesn't have to be hugely complicated but it's just kind of getting this nice shapes and tones with it that I think is that is the, is the kind of key to it really so, um, I mean, I could carry on building this tree up and up and up, but I'm going to leave it there in a moment. So if you've enjoyed charcoal, just send us a little picture of them on our Facebook group and we'd love to see what you do and how you do it. And uh, if you've got any other ideas as well, so how you can develop it further, please add them on because it would be lovely to see uh, your own ideas coming into, into play. Mm -hmm.